It's old-fashioned technology in a digital age. It has a torn perf. Handling reels of 35 millimeter fascinates Carolyn Funk, but jobs like hers as a movie projectionist are becoming increasingly rare. I've been doing this for 10 years, so it's only become more interesting in that particular time frame because um, you know, film projection has basically become obsolete in that time. Until very recently, this is how all movies were seen. Now, 95% of U.S. theaters have converted to digital projectors. That cuts down on shipping and labor costs. If something needs to be changed at the last minute or something, it can get into the theater a lot quicker than getting a reel, having a professional in-house assemble it, spool it through a pro you know, projector, run it, and then you know, dismantle it at the end, ship it back to the studios. This Manhattan theater dusted off its old projectors recently for the epic space odyssey Interstellar. The movie was released early to theaters that showed it on film at the insistence of its director, Christopher Nolan. While the quality of digital continues to improve, Nolan and others insist analog film is still the superior format. Watching a movie on film has become a rare treat, increasingly reserved for museums, like this one dedicated to the moving image in New York, and art house theaters. But digital formats still have their limitations. Especially when it comes to preservation, say industry insiders. The Criterion Collection is a company which specializes in restoring analog films to digital for the home movie market. Let's say today you shoot a film digitally and you lose your hard drive or your hard drive doesn't work, which happens a lot. How many times have you put in a drive that doesn't work because you don't have the right adapter anymore, the technology's changed, your computer doesn't read it? The film is going to work. I think it's the responsibility of institutions to put pressure on distributors and, you know, studios to keep making prints, you know, like museums and archives, and they have to demand it. They have to be like, this is important. It's like what our audiences want to see. Without that pressure, film tradition risks being left on the cutting room floor. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.